Hi there everyone my name is Pritam Negi and in this video of PTC Creo we will be talking about Tesla Bulb and how we can validate its working with the help of Creo CFD. This is very basic and rough design that I have created but is good enough to validate the concept of Tesla. So I am going to place cover on this part therefore I have just created this exclude feature. Now if we watch this part in wireframe then it look like this. Here in PTC Creo, we have live simulation tab available. Now in live simulation, just click on art simulation and select fluid simulation study. And then this type of dialog box will appear. We need to define the fluid domain. Now in this particular case, the fluid is going to flow inside this valve. So I will be choosing internal volume. After I select internal volume, we need to select the bounding surface. So here is my first bounding surface and here is the second one. Now here we can see the software itself calculate the path from which the fluid will flow. Now we just need to click on OK. In this way we have successfully generated the fluid domain. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to define the material of this fluid domain. So let's click on edit material. And let's say the water is flowing through it. So I'm going to define water. Now it can be seen here. Let's go to boundary condition. In boundary condition, let's say the fluid is flowing with a velocity of 500 millimeter per second. Now here we can see the indicator which shows the direction of fluid flow. Now why I provided the value of x only because here I can see in coordinate system the direction of x is this which is along the direction of fluid flow. Now I'm going to click on OK and let's start simulation. Click on simulate and now here we can see our simulation process got started. Now this is the direction where we may see a huge pressure drop. Now here we can see this is the value of velocity. And still the software is calculating and simulating the flow. It can also be seen in terms of particles. And the steam line also can be seen. Now let me just close it and I don't want to see the steam line. And let me just reduce this. Now this process will take a while to get stable. Now here we can see the value is still fluctuating which means that still the simulation is going on. And now we can see the message that which says that the simulation study of fluid 3 is complete. Now here is the value where we can see the maximum velocity of fluid at the red portion and where is the minimum velocity. So we can see from here where is the maximum velocity. So the maximum velocity can be seen here. Now this totally depend on the type of design that we have created. Now let me just reverse this flow. So I'm going to stop the simulation part and again in boundary condition. Instead of uh, selecting this face. I would like to select this face and the direction of the flow will be opposite so I need to press minus here and now we can see the direction of arrow. Again we are going to click on simulate and we can see the previous value was 764 and 0. 
Now we're going to see the new values. Now here we can see again our simulation study has been completed. In our previous case, the maximum attainable velocity was 764 and in this particular case it's 831. This signifies that it would be easier for the fluid if it passes from this particular inlet and if we reverse the inlet direction, it would be comparatively difficult for the fluid to pass through. That's all guys from my side in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such videos. And I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.